and welcome! I am One Well Sheep yet again, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a sheepish look at Sonic Pinball Party on the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Now, this is actually a full-blown pinball title, ladies and gentlemen, and not a pinball adventure type game that kind of like Sonic Spinball was. This is basically a pinball title released on the Game Boy Advance, and simply put, if I was to best explain this, this is basically like, um, oh god, what's it called? There's, there's like a pinball game on the Xbox Live Marketplace and whatnot. It's basically that, but Sonic themed. And, um, that's basically all there is to it. It's real, actual pinball this time around, folks, you know? And it has a full blown story mode, this game does, which su actually surprises me a slight bit just because. The story mode really amounts to nothing more than you get a couple of cutscenes and then you have to get a certain score on each of the pinball tables in the game, which is kind of weird. But the game itself does for Sorry, my vocal patterns screwed me over then. The game itself does feature up to three pinball tables as well, folks, to play on. One Sonic one and two cameo pinball tables. And basically, each of these pinball tables are, for the most part, a slightly different in design. The simplest one being the Samba de Mago table. The Knights into Dreams table is uh, pretty damn neat. And you have also the Sonic the Hedgehog table, which basically goes through each of the zones of Sonic Advance 1 as you gain more and more points and plays music from Sonic Advance 1, which I do think is pretty damn dope. What can I tell ya? What can I tell ya indeed? But yeah, this game is basically that of a normal pinball game. You have to use the flippers to bounce the balls into all the bumpers to get points. And that's all there is to it. There's nothing spectacular about this game. There's nothing overly intricate really to bring up. It's just basically a pinball game. Although I do greatly enjoy it quite a bit. It's not a bad pinball game by any means. It's, it's just nothing special, I guess I could say. There's nothing really outstanding about this pinball title. It's all really a game that you're going to go to every now and then just to... Maybe mindlessly play it if you're bored or something. Like you're not, you're not gonna be playing this game for the story. I mean, let's be honest here. But um, yeah, the game's three tables all take place on, on three different themed worlds, like the Sonic one. Uh, there's the Nights into Dreams world, which plays music from Nights into Dreams. It's got Samba de Amigo, which plays music from Samba de Amigo, and that's basically all there is to it. Although the soundtrack of this game. I, I'm gonna be honest, is pretty much ripped out of the soundtrack from games such as um, Sonic Advance. Like, all of, almost every song in this game from the Sonic tables are ripped directly out of Sonic Advance. This is basically a Sonic Advance themed pinball table that you get to play on. But there are a couple of musical remixes here and there, like uh, Super Sonic Racing, which I think is pretty damn rad. <laughs> And uh, honestly, uh, it's there's nothing special really to look at. This is only going to be a quick, short video because you know it's not really much to say. It's bloody pinball. It, it's a it's a game. It exists. I got really nothing much more to talk about. It's it's not exactly a game I go out of my way to play. You know, folks. I, if I'm gonna play pinball, I'm gonna play one of those dedicated pinball games like Pinball Effects or something. I don't know. Is that the name of it? Pinball Effects. Basically, this game isn't my first choice for pinball because it's a Game Boy Advance title, you know, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm pretty sure there's more advanced pinball titles released on the Game Boy Advance, like, well, not even Game Boy Advance, on a portable system, but, like, maybe the phones have a pinball game or something, I don't know, I really don't play pinball that much in my spare time, so I'm never gonna really gonna look, but, you know, it's a, it's a fun time, you know, if you, if you, if you like pinball, I can recommend it. If you don't like pinball, ignore it. <laughs> I can't. I don't know. I got nothing really to say. It's a game where you bounce a balls. You bounce a ball around using flippers. You know, I can't. It's, 
It's not fundamentally wrong. Although from time to time, Dr. Eggman will pop up in uh, in the Sonic level of the pinball table and you need to destroy him by bouncing the ball into him, which will give you bonus points and stuff like that. So that's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. All the while playing classic music, but... Uh, yeah, that's uh, Sonic Pinball Party. I do apologize. That's a pr this is a pretty short video, but uh, I'm kind of in a I'm kind of in a frenzy the past uh, well, basically today to get things prepared to release because of um basically my sleeping pattern is screwed up, and I want to try and go out of my way to uh, try and get my sort of heroes playthrough up and raring to go which is going to be my next playthrough now I'm gonna be working on that pretty much immediately so with that that's all I got really show off of the game it's like I said it's just a pinball game it's nothing special it does its job and uh, you know it, it's it's a neat time try it out if you want it's no adventure pinball game like Sonic Spinball so people expecting that would be disappointed but uh, yeah that's all I got really to say. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoy. Don't be sheepish people. And I will catch you all again. Bye.